right, good morning. It's Dave here, holiday for two. And hope you're all having a great day and a great week. And I bet you can't guess what I'm doing today. <laughs> well, I've been waiting for this for a couple of days. It's been shipped in. It just got in last night and I've been itching to get the box open and see what's inside. But I thought, yeah, I'm gonna wait and open it up in the morning and let everybody else see. This is a Blue Eddy EB, what do they call it? EB70S. EB70S. Now the EB70 has been out for a while and the EB70S is kind of a new upgrade to it that they just put out a few months right ago. I think right before Christmas, November of 2021 it came out. And it's a little different than the EB70. Um, I'll show you in just a minute. But when I open it up, you've got your instructions, your uh, warranty. It looks like this is all your warranty information. And so yeah, you got the little instruction manual on the EV17S, 716 watt hour portable power station. This one's a little different from the EV70 because this one is actually 800 watts, I believe 1400 watt surge peak power capacity. So this should really do my needs. Uh, I've looked at a couple of different products. I've looked at getting Jackeries. And I've looked at the Blue Eddies before too, and there's a couple other ones I've looked at. But this one just kind of caught my eye because it's right in that right neighborhood of size that I need. Uh, it's not as heavy as the Jackery 1000 or the 1500. I didn't really need a 1500, and my goodness, by the time you get the 1500 with the solar panels and everything, you're talking a pretty good investment of money. So, and when you open this up, I'll just throw this stuff off. Looks like it's really well protected. Um, you've got your, I'm assuming this is your charger box. Let me open it up and see. Yeah, just toss that over there. I'll pick it up later. Ah, uh, this is your power brick that you can plug in. All right, so this is your power brick right here. It even has a nice little strap so you can hold all the cables together. And there's the MP, MP, what do they call this? This is an MP4. Uh, adapter so you can plug in solar panels I'll put that off to the side throw the paper over there and that's a 12 volt you got your 12 volt adapter so you can plug it into your 12 volt you can plug this into your uh, cigarette lighter and charge it up that's kind of nice that's your 12 volt charge adapter so that you can plug this into your 12 volt and plug this into your uh, solar battery pack your EV70 and charge it up while you're on the road. I'm gonna put this one aside over here. Put these, just put those down there for a minute. Got some more cables. Ah, this is what I need right here. This is the power brick adapter. This is gonna go into my... All right, let's put this off to the side. Ah, here we go. Here's what I've been waiting for. Let's see how heavy this is. This is, uh, they say about 20 pounds. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I have a smaller one that I bought about a year and a half, two years ago. It's called a Zoom Brothers or Zoom Bros. And uh, it's only a 300, 330 watt. Charging power station, they call this. Let me turn it around for you here. It's kind of, the weight is substantial, but not too bad. All right, everybody, let's kind of go through this and show you some stuff here. Hold it up here. This is where you can plug in your solar panel or your uh, your AC power brick and plug it in. Maximum says uh, 12, 28 volts, 200 watts max input. And this has an MPPT controller, which the nice thing I understand about that is that you don't have to worry about the flow of power coming in. It automatically regulates the input of power, which is nice, very nice. And then of course you have four 100 to 120 volt outlets, four AC outlets over here. Two of you have the ground connects. This doesn't really ground anything, but you could the, it accepts the little ground plug that go in there, so you could plug it in anyway. You have your little light. Hey, the light works. <laughs> little strobe. There. 
and I'm just curious you know, how much power. Now this, I have not charged this up since I got it in the mail yesterday. It came in from UPS. And so I was reading something that they did never ship these fully charged. They always ship them about, it looks like at about 80%. And so right now it's at 80%, which is perfect because I'm going to test it out in just a minute on something. All right, let's go through some of the uh, items that are on the power station here that really attracted my attention. First, to start off with the uh, wireless charging on top. This says a uh, wireless charging output 15 watts. So if you have an iPhone or an Android that takes wireless charging, just set it right there and it'll charge up. Uh, like overnight if you want to leave it overnight or for a couple hours while you're getting it charged up. So that's nice. Now, I bought this little Zoom Bros. I guess that's how you say it. Zoom Bros. I bought this about a year and a half, almost two years ago. And uh, this just says, it says 330 watts. But actually, when you look at the specs, it's about 297 watts uh, peak capacity. I think the 330 might be like surge capacity and it just wasn't enough it was perfect for charging up my phone I could put my phone on top it's got the wireless charging and then of course you've got your 12 volt outlets your USB outlets here one AC outlet and a couple of the 12 volt adapter outlets plus your uh, solar charger right there plugs in all right so this right now is only putting out It'll show up there in a second. It'll show how much power it's taking. One watt. Why well, you could run that all day on that. That's high setting. That goes two watts. Three watts. So at three watts even, you could run that for a long time if you needed to. For whatever reason you might need it. But what I want to try it for is my wife and I, We one thing we like to do in the morning, we like to have a hot, uh, a cup of hot coffee and we have our uh, we have a little coffee pot here I got. Now this particular coffee pot, let me show you what I got here. This is a Mr. Coffee. And I've been looking for one of these. This is a Mr. Coffee five cup pot. I'll put the links in the description below so you can find these on Amazon if you want to get one. This is, uh, these run just under $20. And the nice thing about this particular pot is it only draws 650 watts. The pot that I have in my house and the other pot, electric pot that we have in the motorhome actually takes 900 watts. It draws 900 watts. So if I wanted to make a hot pot of, pot of coffee, I'd plug this in. Make sure I got my outlet on there. And then... Let's try this out. I'm kind of curious. I haven't even tried it yet. I want to see how much power this thing pulls. So I've got some, I put some water in the coffee pot. There's no coffee in there, but it'll run through. And then I'll hit the power button. Let's see what power, how much power this really draws. All right, so it's on. Now I just heard the fan kick on. That's good. It's got a little fan on one side over here. And then the, uh, draws air through this side or blows it out this side pulls it in here let's turn the light on so right now it's drawing pulling 585 watts the coffee pot is 584 that's about right it's rated this says 650 draw so I'm going to see how long it'll take to cook uh, to heat up that pot of coffee. So this is uh, one thing that I want to be able to use it for. I want to make coffee in the morning. I want something. Sometimes, you know, we go camping and we don't want to kick on the generator. I mean, we have a generator on the motorhome and this is how we've done it before. I kick the generator on, run it for about 20 minutes or 30, make some coffee and do some other things and then shut it off. But, you know, sometimes we're in a camp spot where we don't want to make a lot of noise in the morning. We don't want to wake everybody up. Or maybe you're in a spot where you want to get up early in the morning and hit the road. And you don't want to wake up campers that are around you. That's where this would be, is going to be ideal. I can just plug my coffee pot into this. Make my coffee. Hit the road and take off. <clears throat> and not wake anybody up. 
uh, by kicking on my generator it's just to make a, co a pot of coffee so the only thing I noticed so far is the light goes off really fast it stays on for about 20 seconds in about another 10 seconds or 15 this will go off but it's pulling 583 watts and I'm gonna guess it probably wasn't at 80% it was probably more like about 70% or 65 or something because it just dropped down to 60% right now and I haven't charged this up the book says to charge it up fully before before you use it now I don't know if you heard that or not on the camera I just plugged in the little blue eddy power brick over here let me swing the camera over so I have the blue eddy this is the power brick so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in while it's charging or while it's running the coffee pot and we'll see how much power this actually pulls in there it goes swing it over now I've heard people complain about the noise from the power brick it has a little fan on it that's what makes the noise so looks like right now it's pulling in 180 watts from the AC power brick and putting out 582 watts to the coffee pot and swing it over and it looks like my coffee is almost ready <laughs> yeah I like that so I'm really happy with this so I'm gonna fully charge this up I've got plans for it I'll show you what those plans are later I've got this huge bay in the back of my motorhome that I can actually make a little platform for this to sit on and put it back there and have ways to plug it in discreetly to my uh, RV outlet and times when I want to use uh, this is like a short power all right looks like my coffee is done let's see how much so switch that on so it's no longer drawing any power from the coffee pot see that even though it's on it's uh, no longer the little green light on the coffee pot right over there so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this off Oh yeah, and very hot. Nice. So I'm going to switch off the coffee pot and unplug it. So, first test, success. I love it. I've got something I can make coffee in the morning. Charge up my drones if I need to. My laptop's over here. Or put my phone up on top here and charge it up. And then my next experiment is going to be to hook this up to my RV and see if I can use the Blue Eddy to run my RV power. Hmm. And I want to just add a couple of things to the video here for you of some of the features of the EB70S, which is the newer version of the EB70. Now the EB70 came out about a year, a little over a year ago, and they've recently, Blue Eddy has upgraded it to the EB70S. Although it doesn't really say EB70S on the unit itself it does on the box let me show you here's the box that it came in and so it does say EB70S it also has this one has the surge capacity of 1400 watts with a steady capacity of 800 watts output it's 1400 watts surge and the other thing was I didn't mention in the video is this has a newer battery in it that I like better. I like the battery that comes in this. It's a lithium ferrous phosphate or LiPo 4 battery. And it's rated at 2500 cycles. So you can actually take this down to zero. You can charge and recharge this one up to 2500 times. According to the uh, manufacturer specs, it'll go up to 2,500 times, which is outstanding. So lasting uh, power, lasting ability for this to last and keep running for years is really nice. I'm kind of excited about that. It also comes with a two-year warranty from Blue Eddy. You've got your four AC outlets here, two with grounds. Although this unit doesn't actually have the capability of grounding, it does have the opening there for the ground outlet or a regular 110 outlet then you have your cigarette lighter adapter or marine outlet I guess as they call it there 12 volt you have two 12 volt 
uh, adapters here that if you get those little adapters that go in here you can uh, plug in more cigarette lighters each one's rated at 10 amps then you have the uh, usb outlets five volts three amps each like if you have a tablet device or a phone or one of those that you want to plug in there also if you have laptops these are great for laptops or drones or gopros these are each rated at 100 watts each these are the usb c power outlets or usb outlets so like uh the ipads and some of the iphones use those some of the uh, macbooks use those and that's rated each each outlet is rated at 100 watts and supposedly you can plug multiple items in here and tr and have them running at one time right now i'm just charging it up on the power brick back here got the power brick in you can hear it if you can hear it on the phone or not on the video but it's running it's not too bad not too noisy but it does make a little bit of noise the unit also has a fan on one side that uh, blows air out I can feel it blowing the air out on this side the air is coming out on this side so it's inputting 195 watts from the power brick right now and I don't have anything plugged in yet. So I'm just gonna charge up the battery and get it up to 100%. And then what I'm gonna try in a little bit again is to see if I can plug this into my RV using one of these outlets here. But uh, then later on, I'll plug in my solar panel and see how many watts the solar panel brings in. I have a PV200 uh, solar panel that I got to go with it. That's supposed to bring in uh, anywhere from 150 to 200 watts on the solar panel. So when we're boondocking this summer, this is going to come in really handy. All right, everybody. Well, hope you have a great day. It's Dave here at Holiday for Two saying bye. Safe travels. And I'm going to continue playing with my little power box here and trying some different things out. So, yeah, I got lots of plans for this. So I'll share some of the things, the results. Well, safe travels. Have a great week ahead. And thanks for joining me today on my unboxing and testing of my Blue Eddy EB70S. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.